how's it going guys? I'm your host Dev0406 and welcome back to your weekly dose of Adventure Quest videos. So for this week we have yet another war and we have the Harvest Fest war going on. So Harvest Fest is obviously um, AQ's version of thanks uh, Thanksgiving. Most of say thanks taking but it's a Dragon Fable thing. So let's just skip through all this dialogue and we'll go to the Harvest 2018 war. Alright, so Farmer here and... I don't know who will fight this time, maybe more burps as per usual. Ooh, okay, this is something new. <laughs> okay. Where is Serenia? Something's not to the crops. Nope. Oh man. That can't be good. Alright, so let's take a look at the war rewards. 1000 individual kills you get Carnell's Blighted Scythe. Top 50, you get Serenia's Divine Blessing Variant Shield and Top 25, you get Serenia's Elite Variant Male and Female Faces. Wow! The characters look, uh, the rewards look ab absolutely amazing, I must say. So let's take a look and, of course, we have Melissa topping the list at 3021. War wins, wow, that is crazy. Kakers, you have Void Map Curse, of course, Alexis Hawthorn, that's Seth Hydra. Hmm. Wow, okay, quite a lot of well-known names here. Let's see, is there anything else? God of Everything, that name sounds pretty familiar. Can't really remember who, whose account it was. Uh, so to get, let's see, what do you need? Top 50, okay, top 50 right now, you will need at least 447 uh, kills. Well, for me, obviously, I can't do it since number one, I don't have that kind of patience, and number two, I will be going back to camp during the weekdays, so I obviously have no time to farm for the kills. So, once again, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pass it up. But I do think that the rewards this time around looks absolutely amazing, and I think you should definitely try and get them if you're free, or if you have time to uh, go and do the event. Okay, let's do blood contract. Wait, what? Ooh, arcane amplification causes SP instead. Okay, interesting. And let's do creation burst. Just finish this guy off, easy. Okay, Crazy Cornelius, a more classical monster from the tanks taking, uh, tanks giving quests. Why do I keep saying tanks taking? I think this guy attacks with energy. No, his special attacks with energy. So we shall switch over to Giant's Might. Shields, Tectonic Tower Shield, let's just start. We can use light as well, okay. That's the end of that, and now we will look at some Elite Frenzy Burp. Okay, this is new. I know what's the difference. Does it do more damage or something like that? Hmm. The resistances seem to be the same. Oh, oh okay, you can do that. I think normal burps can do that too, now that they've uh, updated it. Can't really remember, but yep. So it basically just affects your healing, so they won't be able to heal as much. But it shouldn't really be a problem here. Let's go next. We have Undead Archer once again. So we're getting a mix of the Darkness monsters combined with uh, some of, you know, the uh, past year's uh, Thanksgiving standard monsters. Okay, so let's go with Creation Burst.
Okay, so that's what a typical standard quest looks like. Let's go for the silo, uh, seeker mission. Climb the green side and halt the undead veggies advance from above. So, ooh, standard war stuff. You just shoot them down. Ooh, the ones in the background are pretty hard. Oh man. Poor reaction times wasn't really focusing. Don't think you can get the ones in the background. What? Okay, so it looks like my clicking skills ain't that good, and I'm not sure if it's the lag or something, but can't seem to hit them. Yeah, the ones in the background, not sure. Whoa, what the heck? Hey, come on, that wasn't fair. What the heck? Wow, okay, this is... Not sure if it's just me, but this seems to be harder than usual. <laughs> Usual secret mission. I mean, I just woke up as well, so maybe my reflexes aren't the best. Oh, that was good. Hey, I clicked that. Nice. Nice. One more. And we fight the monumental treasure hall. Okay. It's open. So that is it for this quest. And if you click on this, what do you get? You get a burp slayer. What? Ooh. Okay, Burp Slayer, you know what? Uh, let us try out that Burp Slayer. Let's see uh, how it deals against the regular Burp. Please give us an Elite Frenzy Burp. I do really want to test it out. So once again, my stupid internet was giving me problems and I had to do that. So, uh, sorry for that and let us continue. See, hopefully if I an Elite Burp or something. Really want to test out and see how the Burp Slayer works. So maybe it'll work the same way as the Dragon Slayer, whereby you just do a huge amount of void damage to Burps. <coughs> okay, you do that. I do this. Nope, not dead yet. Ah. Okay, that's done. And Burp. Come on, please, burp. Nope, Franken carrot. What the heck? Oh, I think it'll be faster if we just flee. And the archer. Nope, let's flee from that. Only level Ah, finally a burp. Elite Maddened burp. So let's get the burp slayer. Ooh, wow, okay, it's glowing. Let's see what it does. Oh, it deals energy damage, okay. Oh, wait, what? Ooh, it can poison the monster. Interesting. Wow. Wonder does the uh wonder what does the poison stack power to? Nope, looks like it doesn't stack, but uh the harm damage is not bad. Okay, so we're just free. I'm not fighting this seriously. Um, Burp Slayer, you can get it for. Fighting the burps, but you don't fight burps that often inside the quest. You get a good mix of undead monsters and your standard Thanksgiving monsters, so you can actually pass that up. It doesn't do that much, as much damage as I thought it would. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and of course subscribe to my channel for more such future content. Till the next time, this has been Devzio4066. Peace out.